Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this is gonna be a reading for the sign of Pisces. Pisces, my readings are timeless, so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Also, please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can get alerts when my videos are posted. Pisces, if you're new to my platform, welcome. Please hit that subscription button. It would totally mean the world to me. Hey, Larisha. Hey, Isaac. All right, so we got your psychic ability scared the SHIT out of them. Wondering how you got so gifted here. All right, so, all right, I done messed up already. Um, as y'all know, I'm early, so let me get my uh, situation together real quick. I'm actually together, but, and I'm in the live, but I forgot my, something that I need with me. Okay, so, let me not do that. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, calm down, turn down, turn down, hold up, hold up, hold up. Get it together. Hey, Catherine. All right, hopefully I don't hit the camera on the way, but. How are you guys doing? I got a gift that I want to open to here. Um, and so I am pretty thankful. Don't forget ladies night tomorrow night, guys. Alright, so, how's everybody doing tonight? And y'all tell me if me scheduling the live like that was good for y'all. Did y'all get the alerts? Did y'all get to see it? Um, all of that good stuff. Alright, so... Hey, Aaron. Hey, L. How's everybody's day? Did y'all get the alert when I uh, posted it to be scheduled here? Okay, Aaron says she got the alert this time. Okay. Did you get it when I scheduled it or you got it when it came on? All right, y'all, so I got this package in the mail. I just want to open it with y'all. And let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. Ooh. Oh, I am hype. All right, so we got a gift for you. The minute I don't hear you talking, I'm going to need you to send this to me <laughs> from Donnie Harmon. <laughs> so he said the minute uh, he don't hear me talking, he going to need it back. <laughs> All right. I love you, Donnie. Thank y'all. That's from Do Harm Entertainment, y'all. So look at that. That's so cool to help me here. All right. Uh, good, good, good. Hey, Donald. How are you doing? Um, both. Donald Thunder, yes. I did on two of my devices, but not on a PC. That's awesome. All right, y'all. So, um, cause you know, since we saying ladies night, we going live for ladies night. Um, yeah, I needed this. So, okay. He upgraded me. Thanks for the upgrades. Thanks for the blessings guys. I love you. Do harm. Thank you. See you tomorrow for ladies night. Um, y'all, if y'all haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. If you have not, uh, Join a membership to the channel, please do so, because, you know, why not? Um, yeah, that's it, that's all. Now, let's see what we got here. Just something about your psychic abilities. Thank you, guys. Do harm. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's get this message. So, we got your psychic abilities scared to... S-H-I-T out of somebody. Wondering how you got these gifts. So how did you do something? How do you know? That's what I hear. Somebody saying, how do you know? How did you know? How did you know this? All right. So you may have told somebody something recently and they're wondering how you know. Or somebody did something sneaky and they're trying to figure out how you know. 
All right, something about somebody's money. So um, the time is right to take action on your idea. Something that you think. How do you know your psychic abilities? How do you know that you're about to receive this blessing? Um, how did you know that something was going to change, you know, within your money? I figure page of wands. Keep your eyes on your goals. Uh, I figured. I figured. So it's like you talking to somebody and I figured and, you know, the person saying, how do you know that? Um... Or you told something to somebody. 72. So 72, that would be um, 50. Is that, what, what is that? 52. 52. Um, so somebody that's 52. So it could be somebody older or somebody saying, I told you so. I know always. <laughs> Elle says, I know always. All right, let's see. Do harm, Aaron. Thanks for the blessing. Do harm. I know that's right. That would be irony, huh? Sometimes a victory is not worth the price. You didn't argue with somebody about something. It was almost like somebody said, oh, they didn't do this or this, that, and the third. And you was like, all right. And you left it alone. The person feels guilty because they knew they did whatever, lied, cheated, stole, took. Why is it? It has something to do with somebody's car. So something about a car here. Selfishness, conflict, aggression, arguments, feel fair, or maybe somebody don't have a car or something. I don't know. Fear of failure, self-sabotage, and anxiety. Somebody wanted somebody to co-sign. So it's either co-sign for a car or you co-signing something. Unexpected energy, conflict, movement of, of change, or movement of change. Yeah, something about... I don't know. Somebody needed something and maybe you didn't do it for them or. All right. So something about blocking. Somebody's trying to block a blessing. Spreading your spread your wings and fly. They don't like the direction or the direction that you're going in. How did you know? How did you know to do do this? How did you know to invest in that? So somebody wants it's more given like pocket watching. How did you know to invest in that? Then we got reach out to others with love and compassion, nostalgia, memories, healing, comfort, steady gain, pleasure, pleasure after hardship. It's almost like maybe you are predicting somebody's life or something and somebody's saying, how did you know? How did you know that? How did you know that that was going to happen? Right, let's see what we got here. Somebody's saying the intuition been on a thousand. Intuition, Christine, how did you know? Um, Tamisa, hey, Christine. Elle said, yep. <laughs> All right, so somebody dreamt about something. You dreamt about the person. So that's how the message, somebody was leaving. Okay, so you're going to go, you're leaving to go this place. How did you know which direction the person was going to go? In? And we got 36. Move from your problems and be mindful of what you take. Transition, exit, moving beyond. Solving your problems, a journey, a deeper thinking, research. So it's like you did your homework after the fact. So that's how you found out. For somebody, it's like, I didn't even have to go look. God already gave me the answer. Like God already told me and then you got the answer. Knight of Cups, express your creativity. And somebody was over somebody's house, like, because that's what I hear. You was over this person's house. Um, express your creativity with compassion, emotions, and, but the person saying no, romantic, sensitive, sensitive, insolent, graceful, poetic. Somebody has a relationship or like a friendship, like it's something from work and somebody saying, well, um, no, I was dating that person because, um, uh, not dating. No, see, look, I did not mean to say that, but maybe, maybe I, I was going to say, you know, your work wife or your work husband. I was going to say, like, somebody has one of them or something, and then they're not telling the person that that's, like, uh, the connection. Um, this person is just, you know, at work. They're not telling that they're hanging out um, maybe at the bar or maybe they're doing happy hour. Like, we, oh, it's a work trip, but not saying um, my work husband here. So work husband and whoever that is is getting super-duper close. Mm-mm. 
Mm-mm, because I said dated. So it's like going on dates. They're going on dates with other people. Um, one's house always tells a lot. Um, hey, Tamisa. Yeah, that that's... Somebody's not saying the, the full total story. Um, it has ended. It is finished for better or for worse. And then I hear like uh, R. Kelly. Um, when a woman's fed up, it ain't nothing you can do about it. <laughs> it's like running out of love. <laughs> Y'all do not mean to be laughing at that, but I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, William. <laughs> hey. Isn't it spirituality unlawful to tap into someone's energy without consent? William, are you talking about the reading? Because I already tell everybody, we focus on the reading. And I'm not tapping into anybody's energy without consent. But yes, it is. It is definitely illegal. <laughs> Yo, y'all, I'm sorry. Um, we got It has ended for better or for worse. Ruin, defeat, failure, insolent, overthrow, speaking many words, and hopelessness. Okay. So the person feel like they don't have a leg to stand on. <laughs> Tanisha said, I like that song. <laughs> hey, yes, Sienna, how you doing? <laughs> yes, thank you. You're welcome, William. I'm sorry, because it throws me off. That's why. And I, I want to answer your question, but then if I start focusing on that, this going to make me start talking. See what I'm saying? Look, I'm already off track. <laughs> That's how it begins. And then this reading goes sideways. And then, well, we get what happens after this, okay? So we got strength. Uh-oh. You don't know your own strength until it is tested. So we got courage in the face of opposition. So it's like somebody telling you that you don't know. Like, they not get... Y'all, why are these cards moving? <laughs> this card moved too. Um, I, I, all I'm getting is awakening the dragon. Awakening the dragon. All right, so somebody's saying that's not what happened. But you know that's what happened. But they keep saying that's not what happened. And then you find out that that's what happened. You see what I'm saying? So then you think your intuition is blocked or something, but it's because the person lied. Meanwhile, exactly what you said was what happened. Down to the T. So the person is saying, how do you know? Um, I caught a tarot reader tapping into my energy back in September. The video is on my channel. Well, how do you know she was tapping into your energy? Did she use your name? Because for some reason, people always want to take a reading and think that somebody is... Unless she said your name, then, you know, do what you will with that information. Um, you could potentially just be feeling the same energy as someone else. Because if you notice, I do 9,000 readings and the people, everybody says, oh, it resonates, it resonates, it resonates. Everybody thinks I'm talking specifically to them. So unless she said your name and, you know, I wouldn't hold too much weight in it. It could just be you. So either way, at this point, everybody's energy is everybody's energy. Once you enter into the chat, if you entered into her chat willingly, you entered into her energy, which meant she entered into your energy. Okay, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't go looking for stuff like that. But I, I was just giving you a little disclaimer. I'm not saying you're wrong, okay? I'm not saying you're wrong. Thank you, Donald. Okay, Donald. Donald said focus. That's right. Let me focus. Okay, so you knew you were right, okay? So you were right. The person lied. You got the energy. What Your intuition was popping, okay? It's like bippity-boppity-boo. This person thinks you're a witch, <laughs> okay? So... Yeah, that's what I'm getting. What what is that? Bippity boppity boo. What what um thing was that? Um That's right, Donald. Enter, you give permission. Once you enter, you give permission. Hey me, Mia. Um okay, so bippity boppity boo. What is that? That that's what that's a Disney thing. So a will to create, energy inspiration. You can say things and it just happens. The universe loves you right now, okay, Pisces? So it's like the magical world of, insert your name here, all right? So why is your intuition, how are you gaining and getting so much clarity? I feel like somebody is tapping into their energy so much, it's almost like a game. Like, let me see if I could do this. Okay, well... Okay, we got the tower. Always expect the unexpected. 
a collapse, upheaval. Why did I get the like dun dun dun? dun? <laughs> like, uh, no, it's not that. It's dun dun. The 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 uh, cops theme or something, Law and Order or something. Dun dun. Okay, always expect the unexpected. A collapse, upheaval, destruction, foundational shift, a reality check, ambition. At, uh oh, adversity. And then didn't I say dun dun Law and Order? And then look what happens. Y'all see what I'm saying? Somebody getting a, a felony, a spiritual felony, okay? Somebody's gaining a spiritual felony. What does 172 mean? That means somebody going to jail. Somebody getting spiritually locked down. Clink, clink, you getting cast out. Bippity boppity boo, I took your magic. You see what I'm saying? So somebody's getting their magic taken. Somebody wants to know how you took their magic. Mm, mm, mm. Somebody, everybody, anybody, scream. Ah, there's squirrels in my pants. Phineas and Ferb. Okay, 172, what y'all got? Okay, William said he's, he weighs 172. All right, well, William, then if I'm in your energy, don't be mad at me because you here. So I'm going to just let you know. I'm going to be all in your business. So if we talking about you and you weigh 172 and that's your weight and we talking about you, then guess what? It is what it is, my guy. <laughs> so, once you enter into the chat, me and you are intertwining, intertwining, okay? So, take it how it resonates. We got Ace of Swords, speak your mind to solve your problems. Logic, power, heart of the matter. Insight, clarity, breakthroughs, and ideas. We got an Ace of Wands, an Ace of Swords, like divine help. Somebody better watch their mouth. All right, 11, 11, like watch what you say because your intuition, how's your intuition? How are things? It's like you, it just rolls off the tongue. Somebody got like a spiritual, like a silver tongue. You can kind of like weave and wonder. <laughs> Donald, <laughs> better him than it's. <laughs> Yo, I'm cracking up. The 172 angel number is a sign from your angels that new beginnings and fresh opportunities are on the horizon. When this number appears in your life, your angels are telling you that uh, new beginnings are on the way. I know that's right. So somebody tapping into new spiritual gifts. And I told y'all, be mindful of the collectors, okay? So um, once you start opening up your gifts and you entering into people's places and things and all that, be mindful that once you enter, you also, you know, are getting ready to intertwine and intertwingle as well. It's like once you enter into the realm, to the building, now we here. All right. So, and I hear now Drake started from the bottom. Now we here. Started to the bottom. Now my whole team started from the, okay. So, okay. Why am I getting that? Because that is a group of folks. He said, now my whole team. So, like, a group, because a whole team is a group. My whole team here started from the bottom, now we're here. All right, so we started from the bottom because we didn't know our magic, we didn't know our power, and now we're standing in our magic, now we're standing in our power, now we're standing in our, in our strong energy. And also, we got divine intervention, divine help. United we stand, divided we fall. So, teamwork makes the dream work, okay? So, just know all of that. All right, so then we got Dallas, 172, study to show thyself and proved unto God, rightly dividing the word of truth, Timothy 2 and 15. Oh, my God. So I said, started from the bottom, now we're here, and then it goes into studying and knowing themselves. So you didn't know that you started from the bottom, you didn't know your gifts, now you working your way up. So study to know thyself, tapping into yourself, understanding who you are, and finding God within you, searching, free spirit. We're not going to do that. So um, I, I appreciate you. But if you start spamming my chat with that, you get ready, get going. Okay, so don't don't play. All right, what else is the message? Let's see. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting the chat, but please don't spam my chat. That's not acceptable. Hey, Yesiana. 
LOL, it's karma for all. It is karma, but don't spam the chat because, you know, that, that don't get good good energy going down. All right? It starts to make, make people come over here and look, and I don't need people over here in the business. We trying to mind our own business. Y'all see how them cards fell out? We got seven, three, two, two. We got one, one, seven, two. So look at that. So it's like putting together a puzzle piece. Hey, move with MC Finesse. Y'all see that? It's one one seven two 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 seven three. So how what's the distance in that? Or what's the like uh if somebody can like minus this from that and then that's probably the number but you could also probably look up these numbers and it would probably give a message as well so we got focus on your goals to bring you success we got keeping your eye on the prize keep your eye on your goals um you have success in the face of difficulty and you're strong energetic and ready to take on in the world so your gifts everything is definitely popping you're on um the right pathway on the right uh Keeping things, in, and this is all movement right here. All of this is movement. Balance and priorities and decisions. Duality, a settling of energies. Investigation, willpower, finding control. Opening to communication, groups, and growth. Okay. Um, Catherine said, 172 angels telling you that you have been working from your heart and soul and serving your divine purposes. Okay, amen. Why is my cards moving, y'all? Do y'all see these cards moving? Because first that card moving, and now this card is moving. It's like they're doing like a little twist thing or something. I don't know what that is. And I'm not sitting above anything. Like I'm a, in the middle of a high ceiling, just so y'all are aware. Um, it equals 1101. Okay, so if somebody can look up that number, 1101... But it's probably 11011 is probably the number. And then, isn't that code for computers? Energy is bouncing. Isn't that, uh, one, uh, is that how code for computers work in those numbers? One, like, you know how you see that stuff going up the screen? Is that, like, how that works or something? All right, we got open to communication, groups and growth, investigation, like I said before, like a group, um, you know, people, um, communication, groups and growth started from the bottom. Now we here started up from the bottom. Now my whole team. So it's like collectively moving through energy, like y'all sending energy back and forth. And it's like gaining clarity or as everybody awakens, everybody's tapping into everybody's energy. But it's like a real positive exchange because it's a group of people who can tell a what is it telepathically communicate with each other that's why y'all are able to share so whatever it is your soul tribe whoever is and look at this i i wasn't even paying attention i'm just over here talking with the cards like this with my hands and um, we got patience and as far as your soul tribe your team so if you haven't met your soul tribe your team started from the bottom now we hear things being put in alignment everybody's bouncing around trying to figure out where everybody is and it's like the puzzle piece is moving um, the, the men on, on the chessboard, everybody's moving around to figure out where they belong. Um, we got, yes, binary codes. Okay. So to me, it says yes, binary codes. Um, the 1101 angel number means that it's time to manifest your dreams. Your angels are signaling that you have the power to make things happen and reach for the stars. It's almost like somebody saying, how did we know to kind of start now move, moving the numbers around? How did we know to start doing you know, whatever it is with the people, but also it's giving like one thing up. There's one thing up because what happened was 782. What is 782? That's eight. So that would be somebody's life path number at eight. That's 10. That's a completion. We got four. So... 
it's almost like you talking to somebody and telling somebody something and the person saying, well, how did you know? Because it was almost like you had it down to a T. Um, it was almost like everything flowed. It was like the science of a thing. Um, thank you, Tamisa, for that. Um, Catherine, 1101 indicates positive change in your career and finances. Okay, welcome in new bucks because also we have a page of pentacles here. So welcome in the new cash. I receive it and claim it. Thank you. Um, Y'all receive it and claim it. If you do, you do. Um, let me see. Like I said, this is all to mega death song, symphony of destruction and countdown to extinction. You getting that, but I'm not getting that. I'm getting peace and blessings and love. Blessings on your journey. Catherine um, says, happened this morning too. Yes, same thing. Kevin the Dallas Way says, to whom then will you compare me to who is equal, says the Holy One. Um, we got um, eight. Yeah, equals eight. I said that. So that was somebody's life path number, I think. And we got amazing. Isaac says, yes. Josh says, I'm talking about Dia. Di 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 I don't know who, who he was talking to. Um, D-E-I. So I don't know whose name that is. Um, we got 782. Your future is bright and positive. You have been putting in a lot of effort to reach your goals. And your angels are reassuring you that your efforts will pay off. Thank you, Tamisa, for that. Dallas um, 782 to unfold in the arms, i.e. by implication to salute figuratively, to welcome, embrace, greet, salute. Okay, your people coming in. All right, I like that. And then we got their Greek lexicon. I don't know what that means. Um, Thayer's Greek lexicon, maybe that's a book. Um, we got Tamisa here. Thank you, Dallas. Um, you're, you're on the right path and you should keep moving forward with confidence and optimism. All right, so yeah, yep, Donna, we got that for eight. Um, so also, Moving forward is having blind faith. Everything might not be exactly the way you want it, but it's almost like you have a sense of peace because you know it's going to work out. You trust God. You Even when the things that people are saying, because they could be saying towers, this, that, and a third, um, you're not getting the bad feeling that's attached to that. So how do you know? How did you know? Because something works out to be a thing. Um, last year, you might have told somebody something. This year, it came to fruition. How did you know? Um, it's almost like, cause they were given very specific things from the beginning as to like, people would say only me and this other person would know this. And then it's like, you told them that it was cause somebody's getting jewelry. Like, um, I mean, I'm getting jewelry. Somebody told somebody that they lost a necklace or they're looking for a necklace and you told them it was in the drawer um right bottom right drawer or somebody saying right now because i hear somebody saying that so somebody may be looking something for a necklace bottom right hand drawer um then um somebody lost something it's in your car underneath your seat um it looks like a stick or something so i don't know if it's like a makeup or a lip gloss or something of that nature um it just be random facts that people be like well how did you know that then they'll be like, in 1962, you lost a stick of bubble gum. It was in the um, classroom. And, um, you know, them little wooden desks that pull up and, you know, all that type of thing. And you'd be like, well, how did that person know that? Like, you know, some weird stuff. Because um, I hear also weird science. Like, your favorite movie is weird science. Okay? Um, I'm just telling y'all what I hear. So... It's one of those types of things. It's random pieces or bits of information that you know and a person saying, well, how the heck did this person know me? I don't know that. Um, a trick that my grandmother taught me. Um, somebody, one of their favorite memories of being a child is, and this person must be old, and I don't mean it like that, but I'm just saying, because it's like being on a, a ranch or something because there's like bulls um, and it's like a huge property or something like on a big piece of land in the middle of Idaho or something of that nature. And they had like a, what's them things that you, it's like a well pump or something. And you carrying a bucket, a pail of water 
It's giving me Jack and Jill. That's why I'm saying it. <laughs> Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. That was like one of the lullabies or one of the kids things that you uh, used to sing when you were growing up. Or um, back in the day when somebody used to play jacks on the, uh, on the stoop or something of that nature. Like, how did this person know that? Um, it was almost like the person looked at you or the person brushed upon you or you touched the person and then all of a sudden this person knew all your business because it was giving like a download because that's what we just talked about, about binary code. Um, those zeros or those ones or something, it's like a computer chip or something. Somebody's getting an upgrade like that. And it's almost like weird science. Okay. Um, Hey, cake cakes. Hey, girl, it's been a day. I see spirit working. Amen. I know that's right. So it's giving that type of vibe, like upgrades, upgrades. Oprah Winfrey, you get an upgrade. You get an upgrade. You get an upgrade. But all y'all upgrades are tied together because telepathically, it's like everybody's doing a thing. So as everybody's bouncing around the computer system, it's almost given like the lines or something like how a cell phone is. And I know y'all probably like the analogies is crazy, but that's just the way it's being given. So I hope y'all pick up on whatever it is, the part that you need. Um, so it's like the, cause I don't know how the phone system actually used to work. I don't know if it still works the same, like back in the day or something. And you know how they used to always have like the telephone poles. I don't know if that exists now because you know, they got satellite now for cell phones or something, but you know how like landlines used to be connected to the cell phone. I mean, to the, the telephone towers and then it would run along the lines. So it's almost like, uh, the energy running along the telephone lines or, you know, under the cable, I guess now they have cable so we can use that under the cable lines. It's like picking and choosing like, okay, this person has a connection, but it's actually telepathically going over the airwaves. So I don't know if that makes sense to y'all, but that's the way it's being given. So that's the way I'm gonna do it. It's like a line going, but it's energetically between y'all's team. Cause we started from the bottom. Now we here the team is upgrading. So you're upgrading along with your team. If you are part of this team and y'all are getting those upgrades, then it's like, you know, how are you connected to this person? How this person do this? Y'all eating the same You might not know if you're attached to or what group you're attached to. Because then that's also the other thing. It's given like beam. Um, Y'all are kind of coming together because I see like a ball, a ball of energy. So y'all are kind of gravitating towards each other. We got temperance here. Also patience. Um, seeking balance to create a calm atmosphere. So if you like anxiety um, because you feel the energy, but you don't know what's happening, um, it's like spiritual bathing and things of that nature that maybe you should be taking part of. Um, just trying to calm down the energy, maybe drinking some tea, um, whatever it is you do to calm down, but it's given, you know, a little bit of patience is needed in this situation because I mean, it takes a lot to get this together. Okay. So there's that. All right. All right. So we're going to clean this up. I went out for just a few seconds. Oh, it went out the reading. All right, Kayla. Hey, Kayla, how you doing? It went out for just a few seconds. And that's because I don't know. I think somebody had called in a group. I don't know who did that, but everybody should know that I'm doing a uh, uh, live, so. We got an emperor here on your space with confidence. Somebody in an emperor energy elevating. Um, I feel like part somebody has good karma. So you could potentially have very good karma, which is also the reason why you're given blessings. You're being given gifts. So gifts meaning spiritual gifts, but you could also be given 3D physical gifts as well. Um, you have strength and a new cycle, new beginnings, a new start. I don't know why this card still wants to stick up. That's that page of pentacles. Um, be open to receiving the healing, nurturing that you need. 
We got imagination, kind, good natured, compassionate, calm, and respected. A very respected leader here. Um, who was that? Um, how she don't know? She Larisha didn't get the. Uh, I thought she was here. That was still on notify me status. What was it, Larisha? You didn't get the message. Everything has been messing up today. Yes, everything. My motel room went and locked, and now my jewelry didn't want to. Hold on. Then what? Then my GL. Oh, then my Jeep didn't want to unlock. Narcissist, psych, sociopath. All right, this tower's back out here, so um, always expect the unexpected, all right? So that's the other thing. Your mind is always wired to no. So it's like going with the flow energy. Expect the unexpected. Hoping for the best, but it, or praying for the best, but expecting the worst or something. I don't know, however it goes. Either way, if you have foresight and, you know, that type of thing, then you already know that, Anything could happen at any given time, okay? You just know that you're going to go with the flow however it goes. All right, let's see what's happening here. All right, we got, for some reason, I feel like this was a gimme. Because when this fell, this just fell out. So I must say give me. Um, finding balance in your life to build your success. Um, find work-life balance to protect your creativity. So give me. Um, so I feel like that's like a... A show me to the universe. Give me, give me work-life balance to create my pr productivity. So finding balance in your life. Something about money, um, duality, union balance. How did you know something about somebody's money? Eighty-two here. So this could be the year somebody was born, but that's also ten and a completion. How did you know somebody's job was going to come to an end? How did you know something was going to be finished? How did you know somebody's assignment was going to be like over and done with? Also, there's a change in somebody's money because how did you know I was going to start doing this? How did you know I was going to start doing that? Because eight and two is 10. That's 10 pinnacles. So now you get the, now because um, I hear also got to get the cash, got to get the dough. Okay. So somebody saying got to get the cash, got to get the dough. Um, Kayla said, today has been horrible for me, but I calmed down. Yep. Good morning, Larisha. All right. So somebody's on a level up. It's like still balancing. So as you get the blessing, as you start to receive these gifts, be mindful to bring balance into your life. This is time, money, or energy here. So dealing with that. I'm going to leave that there. All right, so somebody could say, I'm going to just leave that there. So I'm going to leave this with you. Why is that giving me like somebody uh, splitting up, somebody splitting up, breaking up? And they're saying, I'm going to leave this part with you. Um, I have done a lot of grounding today outside to calm me. I didn't been outside doing yard work and everything. I actually went outside and sunbathed a little bit because I needed to get, you know, that type of thing. So I did the same thing. I surely went outside today. Girl, I'm going to be all up all night long, stomach off, energy so heightened that I have the shakes. Yeah, I don't know what's up, and I can usually see it energetic with no sleep. I'm going to be all night again. Girl, I've been up since all night, too. Me, Gabby, I did a live this morning. I was on live at, uh, what time was that? Freaking 3 o'clock this morning. So if you haven't seen the lives, the recent lives, the energy has been going crazy, but the messages are freaking amazing. So if you haven't seen all those lives I've been doing, then please go check them out because you probably want to see them. And also I go live every morning, seven o'clock, between six and seven, but normally seven o'clock, no later than 730. So please be here if you want the messages, because as y'all know, nighttime, the messages be, so the morning messages be automatically awesome already. So y'all make sure y'all don't miss the lives. Feel, feel your grief, but know that things will get better. How did you know somebody didn't feel good? How did you know that somebody wasn't their new, normal self or usual self? How did you know somebody was feeling down? How did you know somebody was going... Like, somebody wants to know, how did you know? Um, also, stress burden. Like, your intuition is definitely popping. 10, 10, 
and another 10, okay? 10, 10, and 10, all here. Um, it's like the upgrades, the upgrades are upgrading. So, um, like me, it's been exhausted. Then last night, my back was hurting. Um, but this is all after I got up, like, literally. And then it's been days where I feel like um, I might be getting, like, two, three, four, five hours of sleep. Five at the most. Like, five at the most. But normally, I don't even think it's that. So, lately, it's been... But I'm not getting like what everybody else is getting, where everybody is being like all in a panic and whatnot. I feel like everything's fine. Like my spirit is telling me we are fine. Because if you trust God, know that God can turn it around in a blink of an eye. Like one day it could be this, the next minute it's that. Like one switch, one click from God and the universe turns to everything that is supposed to be for you. Also, it was something about quantum quantum leap, a quantum leap happening in your life. Like, even with all the stuff that they're trying to distract us with right now, this is the time for somebody that is, you're about to get a quantum leap. You're about to jump ahead. And so it's saying, like, when the universe chooses you, accept it. Just go. So we got 10, 10, 10, and 10. Like, that's four 10s there. Um... Dreams, Jacink, um, how you doing? Dreams to Kia. How you doing? Welcome to the chat. Hey, Kayla. Kayla says, same girl. It's crazy, but definitely know God got me. Exactly. Um, I don't feel all in a panic either. I feel like I'm good also. Um, yeah, you made it, Aaron. Hope you, okay, that's to me. talking to Aaron. Um, Catherine, not in a panic here. Looking at this universe with eyes of wonder. Yes. And it's also saying, have things like, um, a fresh perspective. I know what everybody's saying or whatever, but trust your intuition. Do you hear God? Because if you can hear God, then you know what you should be feeling. Like you're not going to let outside anxiety and people, what they're doing affect you. You know that you just have to stand strong. Y'all, what do all these tens mean? You got four tens on the board. What Does that say something for that? All right, let's see what we got here. All I know is y'all are being upgraded because the gist of this message seems to be um, the upgrades are happening. It's your soul tribe. They're elevating and y'all are elevating at the same time. And you could telepathically be sending signals and messages back and forth between these people, meaning gifts and talents, things happening. Yesterday, I saw somebody doing... Uh, he had this card, and he was kind of spinning it in the air. I mean, it was pretty freaking amazing, but I'm over here like, it's funny how everybody is just on go. Everybody's just open to practice their magic. Like, it's magic is energy, just so y'all are aware of, because, you know, somebody might come across this video, and they might be like, wow, uh... Magic don't exist this than a third. We're talking about energy. That's why they say the power of life and death is in the tongue. Because you, using your words, are casting spells. The power of life and death is in the tongue. You've been being taught that the whole, you're probably the whole entire life. Like, watch what you say to people. Because you can inadvertently curse somebody. So people need to be careful about the things that they're saying. All right, so I hear, like, somebody get ready to have no more sleepless nights. Or have patience in the sleepless nights is basically what it's saying. Because it's patience, unselflessness. Um, so things will get better. Believe in your personal power. I feel like just paying attention. Somebody is basically saying, like, spiritual baths are very much essential or and important now because it's basically, like, talking about um, water magic. So, Pisces tapping into your water magic. Um, We got... Hey, Baxter. Hey, Move with MC Fitness. How you doing? All right. Um, We got... Oh, Lord. Y'all been chatting it up. I didn't even see. Move with MC Fitness. Things feel good. No panic. Just a sense of peace. Cake cakes, yes, what's up with the back pain? Girl, I don't know, because last night I was having that. Everybody in the chat was saying it. It was a lot of people up last night, too. Well, this morning, um, it was three-something. Lower back, girl, I'm fighting to get my children home from their bitter dad because I relocated for a betterment. I know God got it. It's just a lot when they're when the very thing you are dealing with. Yeah, I know. 
on 10 10 completion of a cycle all right so you got two of those you got multiplied by two completion of two cycles then so you didn't apparently jump leaps and bounds i said quantum leap you're going to get a quantum leap here um so double for your trouble also hi going with it and glowing up bexter hey um aaron girl i had a major switch go on yesterday and multiple things i know that's the f right aaron tamisa the four tens and the tarot tarot represent the completion of the lessons of the suits and the beginnings of new cycles with a set of circumstances born out of the previous cycle the tens are accumulation of the elemental energies as they act independently in the individual suits cake cake says preach hey girl i know that's right dream secure my right eye has been twitching girl they try to make me blind because i swear like my vision been crazy i feel like i'm cross-eyed now all of a sudden um we got Tamisa, Amen, Aaron Hardy. I went from a lot of questions to a lot of answers in one day. I know that's right. Catherine, congratulations, Aaron, for that. Catherine, 10, 10, 10 indicates that it is time of the personal development, spiritual awakening, and enlightenment. And I've been saying that. We're awakening. Everybody is now, you know, searching, gathering, sending out the beacon. Um, hey, Happy to be able to catch you live. I can always do it in my time. I know that's right, MC Fitness. Um, I went in the lake and sang to the water last night in the pouring rain. I know that's right, honey. That's right. Tap into that water energy, that water magic. Cleanse. Do a lot of rituals right back. Rituals right now because, listen, get that energy off and away. Cast the salt. Salt. Purification. All right? Cleanse the energy. We got 54 here. Be ready for the opportunity that you work for and use that dynamic energy of the leader of a leader. Celebration, stability, home, rest, cleverness, beauty. We got here a 10 at the bottom of the deck. Completion, happiness, everything, attainment, everything that you have worked for and you have choices in this. I hear like, okay, choosing a house, choosing a car, choosing a this, choosing a that. Like it's just your choices, the choices that you make. Be ready for the opportunity. You work for it. You earn this. I hear that. You earn it. It's also finding your life's purpose here. Um, we got visionary. So seeing beyond, again, it's like, how do you know? But it's putting you in place. So it's like trusting yourself. Trusting yourself here, okay, is necessary. So the energy of the unexpected, a conflict and movement. So something about a change. Um, I feel like you're going to say you want to go in this direction. Somebody else is going to say they're going to go in this direction. Um, they want you to go in their direction. I feel like you should choose what you stay with your first mind. All right. Do what you need to do. All right, we got 455 five here. Does, can somebody tell me what the message is for 455? Five five? We got another King of Cups here. Support yourself before you can support others. What I say, I literally just said that. Do the thing that you need to do for you. So if they have an option and you have an option, choose the option that is your option, okay? Don't choose their option. You can choose whatever you want, but I feel like the option should be the option that you want it. And it says support yourself before you can support others, okay? So be mindful of that. Um, Dream Sakia, has anyone seen spirits? Girl. Um, anyone facing things like people trying to put you down? I look every day. Um, Aaron Hardy, thank you. I love you. Love you more. Tamisa said, I receive it. And thank you. Kevin the Dallas Way said 54. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Amen. Um, 455 is a reminder to be open to taking risks. Great opportunities are within reach if you're brave enough to reach for them. Didn't I say just go? I said that. And then it said be ready for every opportunity that you work for. So the numbers are saying exactly the same exact thing. Okay? So it's like as the messages are coming down, it's already right here. It's already, you have been prepared for this already. So take the opportunity. You might not think you can do it, but I feel like you can do it. What does three, four, five mean, y'all? Because look at that, three, four, five. All right, so we got a Knight of Pentacles here. Take the methodical approach. Approach slow and steady wins the race. The rabbit, the I mean the hair, the hair, rabbit. Okay, okay. The turtle beats the hare. Okay, I'm gonna just say that. So I was saying the rabbit and something else. I'm gonna just say this. How about this? It ain't no fun when a rabbit got the gun. Okay, so apparently you in control. But three forty five, three four five. What is that?
All right, Larisha said, yes, honey. I know that's right. Kevin the Dallas way, 455, God hides, one of David's leaders, meaning Eliva, Eli what is that? Eliva, God hides, one of David's leaders. So God's hiding, God hiding you as a leader. How did you know? But how did you know? Okay, so somebody's wondering, somebody wants to know about your spiritual awakening. How did you know? How did you know who you are? How did you tap into your power? How did you figure out? All right, Kate Cakes, I'm just wanting to know what's going on, God. I feel the, I feel, be patient. I do not like when I feel God's energy silent. I know it's about to be a turn up, eventually surrounded by people. I feel like this is a self walk. To me, so three, four, five, it serves as a reminder that you have the power to manifest your desires and create a life of abundance and blessings, balance and abundance. The angels are urging you to embrace change, step out of your comfort zone, and pursue your passions with unwavering enthusiasm. I know that's right, honey. Y'all heard that. Three, four, five. Thank you, Tamisa. Catherine, um, three, four, five angels are saying, have faith in yourself and your intuition. Y'all hear that? We also got five, five, five here. We got three, four, five, five, five. All right, so... Uh, uh, uh. K Cakes, if the angels number three, four, five frequently appears to you, your angels are urging you to have faith in yourself and your intuitive abilities. Didn't I say somebody saying, how do you know? Your angels are saying, trust yourself. Um, Because people are saying, how do you know? It's because somebody tried to lie to you. Maybe you've been around something. And I'm going to just say the N word. And you know, that narcissist person that was trying to tell you you weren't on it you didn't have it down you didn't this you didn't that somebody basically acting as if your intuition was not on 10 and that may have hindered you from really using your gifts or tapping into your gifts but they're saying you were right the whole entire time how did you know but now it's time for you to actually start using your intuition the way that it's supposed to be used or using your gifts the way that it's supposed to be used Okay, so have faith in your intuition. Thank you, Catherine. Um, mm -mm -mm. Thank you, Kate Cakes. That was you. Uh, Move and MC Fitness. Girl, it feels like the more sensitive I get, the more I see who's doing what. And there's been plenty of psychic attacks going around. Yes, there has. Dream Sakia. It's been a confusing couple of months for me. Everybody else too, girl. Um, Cake Cakes 345 represents exciting and wonderful changes. Yeah, amen. Accept it. Receive it. Um, Kevin the Dallas Way 345, seeing the Lord as the object of faith. Seeing the Lord brings deliverance. Amen. Um, thank you, Kevin. Tamisa, welcome, my love. Oh, who you welcoming? Somebody. Uh, Cake Cakes 555 is considered to be an angel number that is said to be present change, good luck, transformation, freedom, and personal growth. And these normally show up when there's new people here. So there must be somebody new here. Um, and I, I like to explain it because normally these are the first ones you get. 555, 333, 111, 1010. Those are the first ones that you see when you're going through your spiritual awakening. But now they're also letting you know that these numbers exist too. So what does 2345 mean? Because we have that as well here. We got open your heart and receive the love from others. Balance, harmony. And I'm talking about your soul tribe. Y'all calling each other in. Telepathic messages being sent in between the groups. And maybe somebody also wondering, is that the person? Is this the person that I'm listening to? Like, is these people talking? So somebody getting new gifts and maybe you might be hearing stuff, you know, and... I'm not a medical nothing because I don't know why it's given. Somebody may think that somebody's schizophrenic or something and... The person hearing voices, I'm not nobody's medical doctor or none of that, but I I hear like they're hearing their tribe, but somebody saying something different. So take it how it resonates and I don't want no smoke because, you know, I ain't diagnosing nobody, none of the above. I'm just saying, okay, so y'all take that and do what it what you will. Um, so... Yeah. 
Thank you, Cake Cakes. 555 is considered to be an angel number that is said to represent change, good luck, transformation, freedom, and personal growth. Kevin the Dallas Way, 3455, carries a powerful high frequency vibration. Cake Cakes. Thank you, Dad, Kevin. Um, I stay getting 333-444-555-111-999-888-777. Those are normally the ones you get from the beginning. And then as it starts to, you know, you start to go through more of awakening, you start to get different numbers because then it's like, now you can see them. Um, not that you're not getting them now. It's just that you probably are only paying attention because it's like a lot of the same numbers. You probably haven't been paying attention to the other ones yet. So, um, Natasha Providence, Adolfo, good night. Good night. Thank you for being here. Rastafarian, good morning. <laughs> bright blessings. Well, uh, Bismillah. That's what I'm supposed to say. So bright blessings. Thank you for being here. Dream Sakia. Does anyone get cold after meditation? See something kind of visible trying to come towards you? Um, y'all dream Sakia is asking questions. Does anybody have that? Um, Sun Siri said, yes. If you Aries, if you Aries, Aries, he told me to go to, to the woods and do my pretend s-h-i-t and so i did buy he tried tearing me all the way down hates my spirituality okay so she was talking to someone so i might ask is anybody being belittled um tamisa 2345 angel number is a sign from your angels that new beginnings and fresh opportunities are on the horizon hey jen trail embrace change 455 thank you thank you tamisa tamisa all the numbers are pretty much saying the same thing yes they are um Kristen Avian, it's the dream state for me. I, I know that's the right, because it's a lot of crystal clarity happening. It's almost like the dreams be so vivid sometimes. Um, Catherine, three, four, five, five, five is a powerful high frequency vibration. It can influence various aspects of your lives, including love, money, symbolism, and relationships. Um, okay, I like that. Sun Siri, my first shift today, I clocked out a break at 454. Four. I know that's right. The coldness is spirit coming to visit you. Victoria. Hey, Victoria, I sent you a message back. I sent you the um, other chat. I finally seen your message. Um, we got Roscoe, Roscoe. It's about to be 555 over in Texas. It's 551. All right, it's 652 here. All right, Aaron said good morning, everyone. All right, so final card let's see what the message is and then we are out of here and y'all for everybody that's new please don't forget to hit the like button and also i go live every morning 7 a.m so you're definitely welcome to be here so we have the fool here spread your wings and fly um anticipation wonder curiosity all a new journey care is needed here so it's the beginning, the start. I said, we started from the bottom, now we're here. So spread your wings and fly. Experience, tap into your gifts. Enjoy the ride. Now is a beautiful time. It's a beautiful time to be alive. It's the first time you've ever done this. So whatever it is for you, the first time you did this. Because we got some of us here, it's people all over the place that... Um, during some of your lives, you have lived during a time when there was no computers. Um, you also li lived from when a computer went from a big box to a flat thing. You lived from a time from a TV that went from black and white to color to a, a big box to a flat screen on the wall. You lived the time before there's telephones. Like literally it's like generations because it's given two, three, four, five. So it's given generations here, generations of energy, generations of knowledge, genera generations of wealth. So it's almost like passing down the knowledge, passing down the information or also passing it up because it's like, um, the youth teaching the older people how to use the technology or something. So they're, they're giving it to you, but it's also you giving your knowledge and wisdom also to them. And I know sometimes kids don't want to listen, but it's almost like now is a beautiful time because a lot of the kids seem like it's like older spirits are coming here. And so I don't know if there's somebody around like younger people, whatever, but it's like they're older spirits because they're already coming in awakened. So they're no longer like, and these are the new ones, not the ones that are in the middle of it, because I don't know what happened with them. But the ones that now are the younger ones that are, you know, being trained. Because also it's given like an energy of, it's three males here. 
So somebody got like, I hear bros before hoes. Oh my God. <laughs> I am cracking up. So apparently there's a little, uh, and it could be two different things. So I'm going to just say it. But on one side, this is three males. Um, no issue with, and, and I'm not saying there's an issue. I'm only just saying there's a, because there's an opposite of this. Because LGBT energy, but it's given like a group, but it's free spirited. But the other side is that it's not LGP. It's just regular group. And this is what they do. Like, um, get together, they practice and it's like the boys, good old boys club. So, you know, that turned different. Okay. Um, I don't know. Take it how it resonates for you. But also I'm getting like the vibe of a dude that's on his way to his emperorship. So although you see three of them, it's only one. So it's given like several different, cause for some reason it's going like, you ever seen how a projector goes and, um, it shows different energies or it fades into this or that, or it's given that. So it's like somebody watching their life over time and it being like a movie or something. So my life, your entertainment, you watch it while I live it. Whose song is that? Um, I, I hear the good old boy network, so I don't know why it's giving a group of dudes that maybe y'all it's, we make money together. We, you know, uh, hang out together. It could be some frat boys too, but it's given like time passages through somebody's life. So I don't know what that means for anybody, but that seems very specific. And then we got a 10 here at the bottom, which is, again, it has finished. It is over. So I don't know if this is somebody's happy new start is what it's saying, because it's over, it's finished, and then we got unions, partnerships, connections, uh, something new, because then it starts reading it this way. You see what I'm saying? It started reading it this way, but now I'm reading it this way. So, as above, so below. But literally, somebody that has separated, going through, now this happy, free spirit, you could potentially be working on your money, um, slow and steady wins the race, then it's saying think things through, like communication is key in order for you to move into the next happy phase, be ready for the opportunity, because there is more marriage, connections, king of wands, use the dynamic energy of a leader, this could just be being a leader, and then who the person you're going to marry, or this could be being a leader, and this the person you're going to marry. See what I'm saying? So it like read it backwards and forth. So it's also given things that are inverted, things that are reversed or something. I don't know, you know, that type of vibe. So I'm going to just say that's it. That's all. Pisces, this the reading. Hopefully it helps. Thank you guys for coming to my channel. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Don't forget that we are live here in the morning. Please subscribe on the way out the door. If you haven't subscribed, please also don't forget to hit the like button. Um... Let's see. Truth to me, we have been in synchronicities, uh, communion for this one. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Catherine. MC Fitness. Guys, you spoke about collectors at some point. Someone somehow attached themselves to my energy or something. I started waking up at the same time they do and felt like they were forcing it. Still learning. Um, move mc uh, yeah i i be feeling that i got the same issue with this other person that's in my energy being in my business um roscal yes i'm going to a job interview with an old friend i need to catch up with okay thank you sincerely probably Lil wayne song <laughs> in my life your entertainment you watch it while i live at yeah and um aaron said that's so cool and i've never heard that before um you got that job, Roscoe. I know that's right. Good old boy network protecting me, giving me place to work for a spot. We going to work together. Amen. Um, thank you, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Donald, thank you for being here. Catherine, thank you for being here. Aaron, thank you for being here. Son Siri, thank you for being here. Roscoe, thank you for being here. Kevin, thank you for being here. Tamisa, thank you for being here. Larisha, thank you for being here. Kisa, thank you for being here. Kristen, thank you for being here. Jan Trail, thank you for being here. Rastafarian, thank you for being here. Dream Sequoia, thank you for being here. Cake Cakes, thank you for being here. Um, Moving MC Fitness, thank you for being here. 
I love y'all. See y'all in the morning unless I decide that we about to go do another live at some point in time because y'all know how these dreams be going. Kayla, thank you for being here. Isaac, thank you for being here. Unique, thank you for being here. Elle, thank you for being here. Josh, thank you for being here. Uh, Yasina, thank you for being here. Free Spirit, thank you for being here. Um, and I wasn't trying to diminish your, you know, energy. I love you being in the chat, but, you know, if you start spamming, then they'll be harassing me. William, thank you for being here. Uh, Soul Beast, thank you for being here. Anastasia, thank you for being here. Mia, thank you for being here. Christy, thank you for being here. Uh, if I missed anybody, charge it to my head, not my heart, because I'm trying to scroll, scroll through the chat just to make sure I got everybody. I love y'all. I truly appreciate y'all. Um, somebody going to jail right in front of me. Literally, I can't even pull out the wall. Damn. Well, Kevin. Thank you, Catherine. I love y'all. 